Hi, today we are reviewing the Optima UHD60 projector. It brings you 4K and HDR for under $2,000. That's remarkable. Let's take a close look. For the past few years, you've been able to get a pretty great projector for under two grand, but before the Optima UHD60, a 4K projector would run you at least $10,000. That's why we've been excited to see what this projector could do, and in short, it's stunning. The UHD60 is rated to a max output of 3,000 lumens, which means it is bright enough to put up an image that can be seen well in a room that has some light in it. You won't get the amazing contrast that way, but it is visible. Darken the lights though, and this projector pops with excellent white brightness and color brightness. The projector has a good range of controls for focus, zoom, and vertical lens shifting. I'd like to see some horizontal lens shift as well, but I guess you can't have everything. Generally speaking, this is one of the easier projectors I've set up. I appreciate that you get a full suite of controls in the menu with test patterns that make getting the image squared up and true much easier, and the picture setting options run deep. But frankly, the picture presets on this projector are great. In a totally blacked out room, the cinema or reference presets are excellent, but in a room with light, choose the HD HDR preset for the best image. This HDR mode will also sort of upscale non-HDR content so that it mimics the wide contrast and shadow detail you get with a genuine HDR signal. When you do watch an HDR movie off of Amazon, Netflix, or Ultra HD Blu-ray disc, the genuine HDR article looks fantastic. I've not seen an image like this on a mid-level projector before. The colors are rich, but not blown out, and the dynamic black setting on this projector does a good job of enhancing contrast by keeping dark areas as dark as they can be. The UHD60 has speakers that get surprisingly loud, so if you're just doing a casual pop-up movie watching session, it'll pass. But I would highly recommend using a pair of powered speakers for any kind of outdoor movie session, and certainly for a home theater scenario, I would recommend some kind of enhanced speaker system for cinematic audio that matches the cinematic picture. I have to mention the remote too. It's got intense backlighting, which means you'll never have to guess at which button you're pressing, but it might actually be too bright for some in extremely dark rooms. I keep looking for something that I don't love about this projector, but so far I've not found anything significant. It's a little larger than I was expecting, but the horsepower it has justifies the size, and I feel like this top panel is a little cheaply implemented, but you're not gonna have to get in there that often. As far as I'm concerned, this is one of the top three consumer level projectors on the market this year, and it might just be my favorite.